Asterius signals perceived by the James Webb Telescope It is often interesting to know and learn more about space and other galaxy facts. Do you know about the radiation and signals perceived by the James Webb Telescope? Many of us might have some confusion about how that works practically. Welcome back to Theory of Science, where we bring you interesting content on science and technology. A few of the mysterious signals that the James Webb Telescope picks up in the video we have for you today. This massive, powerful telescope can see some enigmatic secret communications. Let's watch the entire video to find out more. Canada donated a research device and a navigational sensor to the enormous observatory, allowing groundbreaking astronomical discoveries. Infrared light, which the human eye is unable to see, is used by Webb to examine every stage of the history of the cosmos. The four scientific instruments on the telescope are explicitly made to collect infrared light, and they can look through cosmic dust to investigate colder or more distant objects. The Dominion Radio Astrophysical Observatory in British Columbia, Canada, picked up a signal of a probable FRB on December 21, 2019, according to the MIT release. It was also extraordinarily long, lasting around three seconds, said Danielle Michilli, a postdoctoral researcher in the Kavli Institute for Astrophysics and Space Research at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Despite being primarily intended for near-infrared astronomy, JWST can depend on the instrument and observe orange and red visible light and the mid-infrared spectrum. It can find objects much older in the universe's history, back to redshift Z20, and things up to 100 times fainter than Hubble can. Objects in the solar system with other nearby objects with apparent angular rates of motion of 0.030 arc seconds per second or less can also be seen by JWST. Astronomers are getting closer to resolving what is known as a cosmic mystery and have been able to locate them in their home galaxies. According to researchers, the signals have been present consistently and can last up to three seconds. The signal is categorized as a fast radio burst FRB which is a powerful radio wave burst with no recognized source. The longest-lasting FRB with the most distinct periodic pattern is this one, which researchers at MIT and other institutions have researched. These remarkable bursts produce as much energy in a thousandth of a second as the sun does in a year. These transitory radio pulses are challenging to monitor and record since they vanish in less time than the blink of an eye. Astronomers have struggled to comprehend the causes of events since they were discovered in 2007. Researchers from the National Astronomical Observatories of the Chinese Academy of Sciences have discovered the FRB discovered by the 500-meter Aperture Spherical Radio Telescope in an article published in the journal Nature FAST. The recently identified FRB is a recurrent one, with an interstitial persistent but weaker radio emission. In other terms, it is constantly on. The latest one mimics another that was found in 2016 and was the first FRB whose location could be determined. Science may be able to learn more about the origin of these radio bursts thanks to discoveries like the recently described FRB. Gamma ray bursts, which are very energetic explosions caused by the demise of giant stars, merging neutron stars, and magnetars were previously the subject of an explanation developed by scientists. We can observe some light spectrums with space-based telescopes that are blocked by Earth's atmosphere. The JWST was built to operate with a variety of infrared wavelengths, and this is a significant factor in why the JWST can go further into the past than Hubble. Gamma rays, radio waves, and all other wavelengths on the electromagnetic spectrum are all emitted by galaxies. Since the light from nearby galaxies hasn't altered much since it was first released, we can examine a wide variety of these wavelengths to learn more about what's going on inside of them. The majority of fast radio bursts, or FRBs, are incredibly brief. Scientists have discovered a peculiar radio signal that emanates from the depths of space regularly, like a heartbeat. The James Webb Space Telescope's initial universe-wide image release earlier this week was followed by the revelation of the repeating radio emissions. According to those pictures, some galaxies were created more than 13 billion years ago. Since the light from nearby galaxies hasn't altered much since it was first released, we can examine a wide variety of these wavelengths to learn more about what's happening inside them. But we no longer have that luxury when galaxies are very far away. 
Due to the universe's expansion, the light from the farthest galaxies have been shifted to more prolonged and redder wavelengths in the form we perceive today. It is challenging for visible light to escape from a dense protoplanetary cloud of gas and dust due to the short, tight wavelengths of visible light, which are prone to bouncing off dust particles. Instruments that detect infrared light like those on Webb may therefore observe the things that created that light inside a dusty cloud, since the longer wavelengths of infrared light slide past dust more easily. Among the challenging cosmic objects that Webb can study are newborn protostars forming in the middle of a nebula and low-energy brown dwarfs. In this way, Webb will make visible a literally invisible universe of star and planet formation. So with that, we come to the end of the video. These are the mysterious signals that the James Webb Telescope is perceiving. They help identify many objects in the galaxy, space, etc. It's fantastic to know about such calls, isn't that so? Leave us your review and opinions in the comment box below this video. Check out our channel for more interesting content like this.